Good morning, Vietnam. Morning. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. We are 14 weeks today. The big one Forb. Yep. So excited. No, uh, when she walked out to get in the car this morning, she showed me her baby bum. It's so cute. It's bumpalicious. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of my phone. I Did you? They could see that. Show the camera. Okay. I'm going to look at this picture. That was my hand. That was my hand. I covered the lens with my hand. She's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here's one that I took. Oops. Oh, the glare. Oh, the glare. There we okay. go. Baby bump. There's one. So little. And then... One's on the other side. That's our bump. Itty bitty bump. I love seeing the bump. It's the only way I get to see the baby. Unless we're doing ultrasound. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, there's the baby in there. Oh, hip hop hooray. And we're only three weeks away today from finding out what we're having. I'm so excited. I am Team boy. Excited. Yes. Hashtag Team baby boy. boy. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Hoping but for a babe. Everyone's like, oh, what if it turns out to not be that? And what if it turns out to be a girl? That's perfectly Chris fine. Gone. I'll be just as happy. Yep. I'm not going to be less happy just because it's not exactly what my preference was. But we're hoping for a boy. Hoping for a boy. We want a boy. <laughs> if it's a girl, we're going to name it Amber Ruth Duran Jr. No, we're not. Oh, we're not? Mm -mm. I think no. that would be a good name. I'm not releasing my baby names yet. Uh oh. I've already told everyone but everything. Have you really, have no, you told I'm not okay. telling Because, one, I want to make for sure we have like, oh, we have a couple we like, but I don't want to tell anybody because everyone's like, oh, I like that name. I'll use that. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to, I don't want to tell anyone our names yet. So we're not going to tell you what our names are. We'll probably tell you guys when we find out what the baby is. And we'll just, we'll just call me Bob. And her June. We're Bob and June. We're not telling you our names. You meant the baby names, didn't you? Yeah. My bad. Yeah, I We're probably going to name the baby uh, YMCA. That's what I'm thinking. I think that'd be a good name. It's it's a unisex name, you know? It can go either way. Boy or a girl. So it's we're just going to... a horrible name. What? It's not a horrible name. We could pronounce it Yimka. That is a really pretty name. Yimka. Okay. Huh? Sounds like a name for an Alaskan dog. Oh. We could name the baby Yadier Molina. No. Matt Carpenter. See, this is why we have a hard time finding names. <laughs> it's because some names that I like, he doesn't like. And obviously, as you can see, she some names hates that the he names picks, that I like. I don't really care for him. She hates him. I told her we need to name the baby Ryan Adam Doran. No, we're not. It's my two best friends. And that way the baby's initials would be Rad. Eh? Eh? <laughs> no, we're not. No? Ryan you Adam. Sherman? Yeah. Sad. Anyway, so... Okay. <sighs> stop judging me. <laughs> so... Um, there is, um, stuff. Um, it's Wednesday. When did it a 14 weeks? Yep. Um, I will not be posting a video on Wednesday because the footage from yesterday got erased from my device. Lovely. So, it wasn't that big of a deal anyway. But I want to tell you about the dinner we had last night because it was amazing. We took chicken tenderloins. We put them in a casserole dish. We <laughs> took olive oil, put them under and on top of the chicken. We put taco seasoning on the chicken. We opened two cans of Rotel and put them on the chicken. We put the chicken in the oven. We cooked it, and then we ate it, and it was delicious. I love tacos. We made them into tacos. 
we shredded them up and put them into taco shells. Well, I put them into one taco shell, and then I accidentally broke the other three taco shells because I'm not responsible enough to handle taco shells. Okay, uh, that's what we had for <laughs> Den Den. It was delicious. May the Lord richly bless and keep thee thine thou and... Okay. Okay. Jared got his box in from Tricks and Clothing. And he's surprised because he doesn't know which one I got him. So. Ooh. Yes! Okay. That's the one I wanted! <laughs> he got his Tricks and Hat. Open! Ugh. You want to ruin anything? It's kind of dark. There you go. Stickers. Okay. Yay! Oh, it's so cool. It matches your shirt. That's awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a little small. Just undo the thing, yeah. Yay! Are you excited? Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Ooh, it Just looks a little good. Bit, a little bit bigger. I have a big head. Shea Coral, if you watch this, I have a big head. Might make these a little bit bigger. I'm going down to two, buddy. Two. <laughs> oh, it's so stinking awesome. You look good. <clears throat> I love it. I love you. Oh, look, look, look. Cool. I got the Polaroid. Oh my gosh. Awesome. That's so awesome. You like it? I love it. Shea, you're the best. All right. Bye. Right now, Trixon Apparel is being, Trixon Clothing, excuse me, is being worn for the first time in Sykeston, Missouri. And I love it. Man, I love this hat. It is so cool. Thank you, babe, so much. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> I love it. What's up? So, I'm out here between Morley and Benton on the conservation trail. Uh, it's so nice out today that I couldn't stay inside to do my workout. So hiking up this trail. It's my first time out here. It's supposed to be a mile and a half long. So get three miles in today. Be pretty cool. It's so pretty. I love this place. So I'm listening to Dave Ramsey's Entree Leadership Podcast with it's hosted by Ken Coleman. It's such a good podcast. You got to check it out if you uh, if you're into business, whatnot. If you're running a business, a manager, or anything like that, I would suggest checking it out. It's good stuff. Check this out. It's so pretty. This is all hill. There's like no flat spots. This is challenging. This is very challenging. Do you like challenges? Ooh, I'm not sure if I do. At least this one is pretty brutal. Hey, I don't know if you can see this through the fence or not, but that uh, headstone, this trail that I was at, it's called the uh, Graveyard Ridge Trail or something like that. Grave Ridge Trail or something. Anyway, this tombstone says, a man of integrity, a husband of faith, a father of love, a grandfather of joy. And man, that is just, that is awesome. Like, what a testament to that guy. I hope people will say that about me when I'm dead. Uh, integrity, faith, love, and joy. That is just, that's awesome. That's awesome. I want to be that cool. So I just got done. Just got off the trail. I didn't make it all the way. It was almost all uphill. And I made it about halfway, almost halfway. And uh, I, was, I was starting to get really tired, so I turned around and started heading back. And I got a stitch in my side. I don't know if that's what you call them or not, but essentially I got a cramp like behind my ribs. And oh, that was a brutal walk back. But I got back, got some water in me, uh, drank my protein shake, ate some cottage cheese and peaches, drank a bunch of water, and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm headed home. Uh, it was a good hike. It was fun. Uh, I gotta take somebody up here to go with me because that was a lot of fun. So now I'm listening to uh, Ken Coleman 
interview um, Dr. Henry Cloud on the Entree Leadership Podcast. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, deuces. Peace out. Um, hope your flesh and your self uh, things and um, hamburger. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. This is what's up. We got noodles boiling. Booka, booka, booka boiling. Got a yummy skeddy sauce. Breakfast of champions. Oh, and there it is. It's ready. Sourdough bread. Thing we videoed that. And then in the mic, we got California medley for veggies. Hey, Ben. Hi. How was your day? It was good. Yeah? Was you good. look good. Hey. You want to get married? Huh? I think we should get married. You want to get married? I think we should get married. Let's get married. Hey, you want to uh, make a baby together? Well, we already got married. Um, and we already made a baby. Oh, okay, we're ahead of the game. Here, what else do you want to do? Oh, you know, we can just fart around. Oh, man. You never look more beautiful than when you're making food, just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> just kidding. Love you. Love you. Well, it's been a good day. It's been a great day. I had a good service tonight. Uh, Gabe, you did a good job, buddy. Um, very good job. Good message. He preached. Let's roll. It's a good message. It's a really good message. So we just got home. I think we're just gonna head to bed. It's almost nine o'clock anyway. So um, we're gonna head to bed. She's really tired. She's really not feeling good. Um, so pray over her, and then we're gonna head to bed. And uh, tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursdays are always good. It's almost the weekend. So, well. Uh, Pastor Rick is headed to Louisiana for a minister's conference called Impact, I think. So it's going to have like Jerry Dean, Jerry Jones, Donald Bryan, Tommy Parker, and I think his name is Ron Lanscombe, I think. I'm not positive. Um, but I'm kind of envious of him. It should be a lot of fun for him. Um. He's got so many connecting flights. I think he's got like three connections uh, for just a short distance. But um, So he'll be headed down there. And then he's preaching in Bernie Sunday morning. So we'll get to hear Brother Maddox, and, uh, which means we'll learn something because he's a genius. And he always says cool stuff. So I'm excited for the weekend. The next weekend, right, is Easter. Yep. Next weekend is Easter, so that will be a Blasty McBlasterson, Blasterton, I don't know. Anyway, and uh, it's just going to be a good couple weeks. This week has flown by, and uh, whew, all right, well, y'all have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you on the later. <laughs> okay. <laughs>